We are still on our ever-growing quest to find the alternative to the WWE games. And this is a game that I actually played a while back. And it's actually a really great series. But I think a lot of people dismiss it because of the graphics and the way the gameplay style kind of is. But I will tell you this. This game is the greatest simulation professional wrestling video game of all time. You can put two CPUs together, have them do a match, and you'll have some crazy stuff happen every time you play this. Plus, it has a tie in to New Japan Pro Wrestling. That's right, we're talking about Fire Pro Wrestling World. You can get this on the PC and the PS4. On the PC, there are some mods that you can actually do, but on the PS4 is the version I'm going to be playing today. They have a very good downloadable place where you can go onto their Fire Pro Virtual Place, get some superstars, add them to your game that aren't in there. It's basically community creations, and you can have a bunch of cool people in the game. Plus, the biggest feature of this game that I think would be the logic. What you do with every character is you develop logic for them, so that means when the CP CPU plays another CPU, the logic is going to happen, and that's going to make the match feel different for each character. It's a very cool thing that isn't in the modern wrestling games, because I feel like even with the WWE 2K20 game, they're not that unique. There are some characters that do some different moves, but there aren't the way that it's not as unique as it should be. So without further ado, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Smash the like if you enjoy this, and let's take a look and do some simulations in Fire Pro Wrestling World. So we are at the main menu of Fire Pro Wrestling World. This game is fantastic. The whole series was actually great. There was one on the Fire Pro Wrestling Returns on the PS2 that was really great. Uh, you had to do some modding USB stick to get people, but there is a downloadable store here that you can go into. Not a store, but you can go in and get some people for real. For reals, for reals, for reals. Now there is some DLC and things that you can get here and one of the best DLC modes is called Fire Promoter. So this is managing your own wrestling promotion. It's basically general manager mode. And I'll actually link out a playlist if you guys want to check that out of my Fire Promoter with AEW that I was doing before AEW actually officially launched. I think it was still in the infancy and we were it was before Double or Nothing, before Dynamite, all that stuff. So we did some Fire Promoter stuff, and I will link that out. That is their take on a general manager mode for the game. We also have Fighting Road, which is your story-driven mode. So that's how it all plays. There's also Fighting Road, I think, for the cruiserweights or the junior heavyweights, as they call them. And then there is the edit mode. And this is the big thing that everybody loves to see here. Wrestler edit, referee edit, team edit, ring edit, belt edit. Is the Fire Pro Wrestling Net. This is where you go to actually get all of those stars that you want to download. This is the community creations of this game here. So now we're all signed in to our Fire Pro Wrestling World Net, and you can actually go here to look at the items, and in the items you can just take a look at your items list, your friends list, info, all that stuff. There's a lot of things you can actually go through here. Uh, when we go to items list, we'll take a look at everything. So we have the office, we have... All these characters, NWA Power a logo, ECW Wrestling logo, NWA logo, all this stuff. Battletoads Rash. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff. Let's say that we want to go downloaded. Most subscribed is kind of what you want to do. Wrestler. Let's just do this. Let's do WWE and just see what the most subscribed WWE wrestler is. And so subscribing is basically how you actually get a superstar in here. So you'll subscribe to a superstar, and then you'll actually go down and uh, restart the console, and you'll be good to go. Or restart the app, and then it'll be loaded in. So I'm already subscribed to this Ricochet. So he's right there to go, and he's my ready to go. I think this Miguel guy is really good. So he last updated it the 19th, 11, 16, 19. So if you're subscribed, it's already going to be updated. It'll load it every time that you load the game, which is a very cool feature. So if they do add alternate tires do new features, a bunch of cool stuff like that, you load into the game, it's actually already going to be right there for you. So that's a really neat feature that I really do like. And the other cool thing about this is that this is the one central hub, so it's on PC and console, so it's not going to be like, oh, only the uh, only the PlayStation version is here. This is anywhere. So that's literally all I wanted to look at there. I have a bunch of superstars, so... We're good to go here, Jack Daddy. The biggest thing I wanted to take a look at was just the offline play and the exhibition matches. Now, you can do a lot of cool things like tournaments, leagues, battle rails, all that stuff. Mission mode is basically like complete some objectives and do that. But I kind of just wanted to do some exhibition matches. Now, I'll do a normal match, and then I'll do a landmine death match just to show that off. But 
There is so much cool things that you can do in this game. And inclusion of New Japan Pro Wrestling is just so good. So I'm actually looking at New Japan all. We've got Okada, Naito, Tanahashi, Goto, Elgin, Evil, Zack Sabre Jr. Now there are some people I don't have on here, which are the junior heavyweights, I believe. I just don't have them, I think is what it is. Because there you can see, I just never got them. I don't think I got that DLC. So I'm actually going to have to get that and check that out. Takamichi Noku. Takamichi Noku is sick in WWE. Anyway, what I figured we could do for this... Like, getting into it, you know, like, looking at this right now, I felt like we could get in and have some some superstars here that I think... You know what we should just do? I'm actually thinking we should do Okada and Tanahashi. I mean, just to kind of throw these two at it. You know, why not? Okada, Tanahashi, let's go. New Japan, the Dome, let's go. Red Shoes is going to be the referee. Uh, settings, what do you got here? Three count, win condition, unlimited time, speed. Now, one of the things you kind of want to do is I like either 125 or 150. I can't remember. Maybe it's 150 for speed. I think I did 200 at one point, and that was a little much. So I'll just do 150. It just makes the matches a little more fast-paced, and you love it. I mean, you can keep it at 100, but I'll do 150. I think that's like a, a nice, good mix there. Background music you can choose. Entrance style individual, run-ins, none, cut play, DQ count on, on. I think we'll save everything. Let's go back and let's do this again. This is a simulation match. That's basically what you want to do in this game is do the simulation match. We have Okada, Tanahashi. Let's get into this now. And I'm excited because I haven't watched a simulation match in this game in a long, long time. And here we go. We are ready for the simulation style match here because Kuchka Okada, the IWGP heavyweight champion, representing Chaos here today. Red Shoes, the referee in charge. Again, do not, do not, do not write this game off because of the graphics. If you write this game off because of the graphics and not the gameplay, you are doing yourself a disservice here. I love watching the simulation. The CPU stuff, the one of the kind, the ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi. I really love this. It's so good. And the fact that the customization and the logic, one of the best things about this Okada Tanahashi is you watch this play out, right? As you enjoy the action here, as you watch this play out, you will see the differences than what you get. One of the other things is a, a critical that you can get here which is a critical is like a KO where it's like all right you're done and we have a uh, finisher steal is another big deal here if you use your opponent's finish and then fighting spirit is a big thing in this game that is a part of Japanese wrestling where you do a move but then you get up right away like you'll do a German suplex and they'll land on their head and then they'll get right back up and that's the fighting spirit it's really fantastic especially in the late game here when you're when you're just watching this back and forth like you're seeing here Always going up, but he decided elsewhere. Oh, DDT by Okada. Maybe some air guitar maybe at the end if we get to see it all play out. It looks like Okada's been in control here. Reversal. Oh, Flapjack sends him down to Boston Crab Red Shoes. Give up. Give up. And I just love it. It's just got that aesthetic. It's like the... It's... it's it's not the groundbreaking HD graphics, right? But it is, it's got its own art style and it works for this game. And that's what I really love about it. Like, look at that German. He was going to do another one, but it got countered. And then you have a tombstone reversal, tombstone. Oh, there it is, tombstone. Oh, going for it again. He hits the tombstone. And there's the Rainmaker Pozu. And I love it, dude. I love it. It's just, oh, and there's a body slam to the outside, a one. I believe it's 20 count on the outside by default as it is in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And it is just probably the best. Five minutes have been gone in this match. As you see, the timer goes fast since we put it on 150. Tombstone jumping, spinning Tombstone. Hitting it again there. Oh, drop to hold though. Reversal. Oh, and there's a uh, Death Valley Driver of sorts. I can't remember the actual name, but somebody will call it out in the comment section below. Another jumping, spinning tombstone and Rainmaker Pozu. 
Sends him down. Okada. Reversal. Go behind. Elbow to the back. Has the head. Oh, there it is. Roll up. Roll up. One. Ooh, not even a one count there. Referee was right in charge there, though. One of the big things that I really like there was that fighting spirit kind of where he got up and then hit him with the boot immediately. One of the big things that I really like that is not in uh, other professional wrestling games, I don't think I've ever really seen it in another wrestling game, is the, not stamina, but it's like your breath. You're winded. So when you're winded, you actually have to hold a button and catch your breath, which I think is a very sweet mechanic. Again, it's not in many wrestling games. I can't think of many wrestling games that you have to actually... I mean, I guess there used to be when you're the old SmackDown game, brrr, and you get tired, but you actually hold a button. You can tell that you're getting more air into your lungs. And again, there's no indication. There's no meter. There's no nothing that's going to tell you this is where your breath is. You just have to feel it out as you're playing and you can tell when you're playing the game and that's what's fantastic about it is just like the way that this game is presented and the way that it feels when you're watching and playing matches like this and i really love it i think i need to get back into more fire promoter stuff because that is such a good mode oh sling blade tanahashi with the sling blade just slap and a drop kick and both men are down. The double down. 11 minutes has passed in here. Maybe looking for it. Maybe looking for it. Ooh. Arm drag. Crab. He's got him for the crab. Give up. Give up. Give up. Take down arm drag. Oh, he's got him for a Texas Cloverleaf, it looks like. Able to get out of that. Dean Malenko would be proud. Jumping, spinning, tombstone. Dropkick to the back. Oh, spin out. Spinning neck breaker. Up. Oh, drops him again. Oh, he's going to choke him. He's going to choke him out. He's got him in a camel clutch of sorts. It look, camel clutch. It's not a camel clutch. What am I thinking? One, two. Oh, two count only. Bob Backlund used to do it. Crossface chicken wing is what that looked like. I don't know why I said camel clutch. That is not what it is. It was a clutch of sorts. Crossface. Oh, drops him down on his head. Oh, Rainmaker gets up. Oh. And there you go. He's got to catch his breath late in the game. German. Drop kick, best drop kick in the biz. Arm drag. Arm drag. Up. And another one. And another one. Bust the dust. Wait till we get into the craziness of this game. There you go. Body slam. Working the knee. Working the leg. Is Tanahashi. Oh, big time drop kick to the face. Rain Mikapozu. 17 minutes have passed thus far in this match. And a takedown. Oh, there it was. Sling Blade going for the pin. Oh, two count only. Elbow to the back. Elbow to the face. This is where they're fighting back and forth. Who's going to get the better of the exchange? Oh, and the drop kick. Both double down. They're both down. Styles Clash. He hit him with the Styles Clash. Oh, kicks out Tanahashi with the Styles Clash. Oh, he's going to choke him out. And that is it. Okada is your winner. After 18 minutes and 57 seconds. Okada is the winner. The Cobra Hold. I was thinking of Cobra Clutch, not Camel Clutch. Cobra Hold. 100% match evaluation. Back and forth and back and forth. And Okada is your winner. And here we go. We have John Moxley, Kenny Omega. This is the lights out match here, I'm guessing. At 10 minutes, the timer will go off. We will get an explosion in... The ring will blow up. Everybody will be down. And whoever 
I guess gets up first will be in the lead there. They're, 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 they're dodging the barbed wire, as you see there. I love this. There's light tubes. There's barbed wire baseball bats, chairs, sledgehammers, broken tables, more light tubes, more baseball bats, and all kinds of plunder here. You just set the rules to max, and you let it play out here, and it's fantastic. We love it. We love it. Especially, I should have set the explosion to five minutes, maybe. Maybe ten is perfect, but... Again, this Kenny Omega is in the game. He was part of the game with New Japan Pro Wrestling, so that was cool. There are some people. I can't, again, I can't even remember what the original roster was. I downloaded so many good people. Oh, and he hits the barbed wire. Does Moxley just hope this kind of match doesn't get us demonetized, but we will say this is unsanctioned. Lights out. We do not condone this. Hits him with a light tube. Oh, hit him, hit him. He's trying to hit him. Oh, he swings and a miss. Oh, back into the barbed wire. Renee Young is not happy at this point. Her Twitter feed is going wild. No, don't go into that ever again. Stop it. Oh, he's working the arm. Oh, rubbing it. The razor burn. He lets that stubble grow, and it it hurts. And if you ever shaved, and then you wait a minute, but rubbing that. <laughs> This is New Japan version of Kenny Omega. Five minutes left till the explosion is going to happen here. We're still running at 150 speed here. Which I think might be the best setting for speed. You can go slower or faster if you want. But I think this is a pretty good pretty good set here. Oh, Kenny Omega has yet to hit that barbed wire, I believe. Moxley throwing fisticuffs and a slap. Oh, just below the belt. But this is unsanctioned. Oh. Punches to the head. DDT. Again, these matches are just a lot of fun to watch. Oh, reverse Rana. Especially when they start going into the explosion in 10 minutes. You can't escape. You can't escape, but he can't go to the top with that barbed wire, so. One count only. Oh, and Moxley hits it again, and the blood is starting to come down now. Third time, I think, fourth time maybe, where he hits that, and then the blood is on the mat. It's trickling down his face. He hits it again. The damage is being done here. Kenny Omega looking very good. Oh, neckbreaker by Dean Ambrose. Oof. Just a soccer kick going for the pin. Oh, two count only. We're coming down. Almost 30 seconds here. And the explosion is about to happen. Oh, 2.9. Here we go. Oh, there it goes. The explosion happened. And both men are bloody and battered. The ref is still down. Mr. Judgment. Running Bulldog onto that baseball bat. He's finally got that light tube. He's going to connect. He hits him with the butt of the light tube. Snap suplex there is Moxley. Just punches to the face. Give up. Jeez. Could you imagine a match where a guy gives up on punches to the head? That's how you know it's a crazy, insane match. Going behind. Oh, that snap. Snapdragon. Oh, Tiger Driver. Oh, and he gets it for the release German. Swinging neckbreaker is Moxley and hits him below the belt again. He's got the barbed wire bat. Oh, but he can't get it off as Omega's back up. Omega feeling the effects on the arm. If you saw, he was wiggling his arm a little bit, trying to get the feeling back. I love that. I love that about it. Oh, back into the barbed wire. You can't escape. There's Kenny Omega. Back and forth. Late in this game. Oh, delivering the Larietto. Hits him with that board, that broken table. Maybe a door. I don't know. Omega. One wing danger. No, German. Into a pin. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, drops him. Right on his noggin. Swinging neck breaker. If he can hit that paradigm shift, it could be over. If he's able to. Over. 
over, he says. Snapdragon. Another Snapdragon right on the neck. Repeated on the neck. Oh, drop toe hold. He says over. Oh, now Moxley says it's over. Reversal, though. Can he make a snap again? Into the barbed wire. I don't believe that Omega has hit that barbed wire yet. The sheer smarts of John Moxley to continue to fight back out of this. I mean, Kenny Omega with his being very smart here. Neckbreaker as well. Who's going to get the better of this exchange? Oh, into the barbed wire. Kenny Omega eats barbed wire. Moxley up. Moxley is fired up here. Elbow to the back. And elbow back smasher. To the back of the head. You can't escape. Omega picking him up. Irish whip into the barbed wire. Moxley again fired up. Below the belt again. Just repeated shots. Doesn't care. Oh, he was almost going for it. Counters after counters after counters. We're almost 20 minutes into this match. Just keeps going to that low blow because why not? If it's not broken, keep doing it. You may not like the choices he makes, but they are effective. Oh, right on his head. Oh, he's still going for it. Still trying to put him away is Omega, but he can't. Super kick party. Reversal. Moxley gets that one off again. Dang, dang, dang. Oh, and he's got him for a Texas Cloverleaf. And that's the match. Texas Cloverleaf Moxley is your winner. I guess going after the, the, the balls was a great way to make sure that you're going to set him up. For the finish, and he does the Texas Cloverleaf. This was 100% match evaluation. Kenny Omega loses to John Moxley. Well, there you have it, guys. There was Fire Pro Wrestling. I wanted to shed light on that game once again. I feel like it's a gem that people are not digging into. There's a lot of detractors from it who dismiss it based off of graphics. This has General Managers Mode. This has New Japan Pro Wrestling. This has Joshi. This has Junior Heavyweights. This has a Story Mode. You guys definitely need to play it. And again, one of the greatest features of this is the logic where you have the back and forth matches, the barbed wire death matches, the light tubes, the table. Everything's in this game. Go check it out now, PlayStation and on Steam. I'm not paid. I'm just a huge fan. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you smash that like button. As always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We will see you in another video.